Oh my god, hi. Hi. Hey, hey. Hey. It's it's really great to hear from you. Really great to hear from you. I have been thinking about how much I wanted to speak with you. Well, I, Elijah, I'm really happy to see you too, uh, but I, I don't want to mislead you. I didn't bring you here to retread old territory emotionally. Okay. I'm more open to it you know, physically, but I did want to talk to you about something pretty specific, which is, it's a little bit touchy. All right. I don't want to assume anything about you and other partners. It's, it's true. It's true? And I'm so sorry you found out through the post-collegiate rumor mill, but I'm glad you heard. Because things between me and Bo are moving so quickly. I was just convinced eventually we were either going to see you Bo? or... That's his name. And yeah. Bo is... My... Lover? Who's male. Yes. I didn't know that. Oh. So... Oh. You're gay. Oh, I, I don't say gay. I don't say straight either. I am with a person of my own gender, which essentially means that I Experimenting. am... Experimenting. Um... Which I love. Thank you. Which I love. Hannah. Hannah, no, Hannah, don't, Hannah, Hannah. Don't. Okay. I'm fine. Okay. I'm just, right now I'm having an inappropriate physical reaction to my complete joy for you and your self-discovery. Well, thank you. And listen, um, you should know this exploration was very much inspired by you. I mean, I do explore. You do! I, I'm seeing this guy right now that I sometimes kind of let me hit me on my side of my body, so... That is so great that you're seeing someone. So I'm processing this. Does this mean that when we were together, you were... Are you, are you asking if I always wanted to have sex with men? Yes. Are you asking, did I want, did I think about it when we were together? Yes. So how were you able to have sex with me then? There is a certain handsomeness about you. Oh my God. Okay, that, that might not have been the right. Well, I'm, uh, I'm very, very happy for you. Thank you. But I a lot. do wish that maybe you would have figured this out a little bit sooner, like when we were at Liberal Arts College together, because there's a lot of gay men there. Okay, okay. Now I just feel like there's a lot of hostility coming off of you right now. And I also want to let you know the reason I brought you here was not to discuss our past relationship, but I wanted to discuss the fact that I have an STD and I'm pretty fucking sure you gave it to me. Why, why would you think that? Because I'm having protected sex with my boyfriend and he doesn't have HPV. HPV? He was tested and he doesn't have it. Oh, your boyfriend was tested for HPV? Yes. Well, that's absurd. And why is that absurd? Because there's no test for men. It's impossible to determine whether a man has HPV and your boyfriend would know that had he even taken an intro level to human sexuality. Okay, so you're saying you don't have it then? No, I'm saying there's no way of knowing. And quite frankly, Hannah, I resent the accusation. You know, you, you were always like this. Okay, this is not the time to throw stones. I was the one that was lied to. By who? By you! For two years! I believe it was Maya Angelou that said, we are only as blind as we want to be. So I was supposed to know that you were gay. Because let me tell you something, this fruity little voice you Excuse put on Excuse me? Is a new fruity thing. Fruity little voice. Fruity Take little your voice. voice. Down. Is this about the scarf? It's not about the scarf. I mean, the scarf is not helping this situation, but it's it's your mannerism. It's your tone of voice. And in my head... I am 
my authentic self. I am being my authentic if self. If you were this gay in college, I would have known because I have two eyeballs and two ears. You might want to take a step back through some of your old boyfriends and not for nothing, maybe take a look at your dad. You, you didn't just... I did. What part of my father reads gay to you? Huh. Uh, well, he has a stud in his ear. He got that on a group trip with a bunch of his male friends. I heard what that sounded like. <laughs> are we hearing ourselves? I don't think we are. You know what I'm gonna do from now on? What are you gonna do? Ask people if they're gay before I have sex with them. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. And hey, don't be surprised if people start asking you that if you keep dressing like that. I'm gonna have the last word in this situation. It was so nice to see you. No, no. <laughs> Your dad's gay, so.